Three months after the horrible massacre of 52 residents of Camp Ashraf and taking seven of them hostages by the Iraqi forces, Haider al ogaili director of the disreputable Iraqi Human Rights Ministry, who is also a member of the state-run committee supervising the investigation into Camp Ashraf massacre, said, the main subject that has been surfaced by the investigation so far is that the Iraqi security forces have not been involved in attack. The attack has been carried out by an unknown armed group. al referred to a probable internal feuding in the camp and that some of the attackers have probably been in the camp. He also said there is another probability that the seven missing people have been behind the attack. Reuters, November 26, 2013. This is a mere false and valueless accusation. Such accusations are made after the National Council of Resistance of Iran had revealed the results of the investigation in the statements numbered 65, 73, 77, 85, and 92, dated September 25th and October 4th and 13th and November 19th, 2013, showing enough proving documents. This job has been done by the Iraqi government with the aim of covering the crimes it had committed in July 2009 and April 2011 in Camp Ashraf, where 49 residents were killed. The same scenario is repeated, but this time through the Iraqi Minister of Human Rights, whose responsibility is nothing but to wash the blood of the hands of the criminals in the Iraqi government. We, the 42 witnesses, of the horrendous crime on September 1st in Ashraf announced the stance of Haider al ogaili member of the Iraqi government committee for investigation, saying that the Iraqi government has not been involved in Ashraf massacre on September 1st is totally valueless and is an obvious lie and desperate effort in defiance of the increasing international pressure and in particular the three months old hunger strike of the Iranians in Camp Liberty, America, Europe and Australia, calling for the freedom of the hostages and bringing perpetrators of this crime to justice. al intends to change the places of the criminals with the victim and played the ridiculous scenario of General Qasem Soleimani, commander of the IRGC Quds Force. The Iraqi government will get no result even if it did the investigation for 50 years because it is the main perpetrator of this crime. The only answer, lie, the only answer lies in the UN's independent and international investigation, which we have called for it on many occasions. And once more, we will reiterate on that.